sweetheart. That's what you called me in your last letter, Zach. Only you have never called me that ever. You would never use that expression. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm making too much of the whole thing. It's so silly. But a lot of people use that expression. And, and Mickey has been so amazing. But when he used that word, Zach, it just sent chills right through me. There's no one else I can talk to about this. I can't risk doing to Ricky what I did to Griffin. Arrested and, and stabbed. It's crazy. He was keeping things from me about your death that I had the right to know. And now, is Ricky doing the same thing? Is he lying too? I don't know who to trust anymore, Zach. Good morning. Ricky. Hope you got a good night's sleep, because I got plans for the two of us. Big plans. Seem really on edge. Um, it was just hard seeing Griffin in the hospital bed yesterday. Well, it's a beautiful day outside. We should go for a drive, maybe we can... I can't. Why not? Um, I, I have to work. I gotta get to work. What? Come on, after everything you've been through, work can wait. No, it can't. Why are you looking at me like that? Did I do something wrong? You need to understand that I own a business. It doesn't just run itself. So I can't just take off whenever I want to. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's okay. No, no, the, the last thing that I would ever want to do is upset you. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. I really should get going, though. Okay. Call me if you need me. I will. Okay. I know I'm probably the last person that you want to see. Could you turn around and leave then? I need to talk to you, Griffin. It's important. Did you not hear what I'll I just... I'll handle this. Yeah. You know, I'm glad you dropped by. So I have something I need to tell you too. I've had a lot of time to think in this place. And you telling the cops what I told you in confidence. You believing that I'm a murderer. Griffin. Given the evidence against me, it makes sense why you believe what you believe. What are you saying? I'm just trying to look at it from Kendall's point of view. Are you going to give her a pass? Come on. Kara, even you have to admit that the evidence against me is pretty strong. I know you didn't kill that That's woman, Griff. because you know me. Not everybody does. You know, it might interest you to know that your sister was just here asking for Griffin's resignation. Resignation? The Miranda Center was at risk. So he had to go. You know, he dedicated his life to this. It was his dream. Actually, it was your husband's dream, too, right? So he could lose his license, his freedom. What more could you possibly Kara, want Kara, from stop, him? Stop it. Hmm? All right? Now, I've said what I've had to say. Now it's your turn. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll just deal with this on my own. Then we're finished here. appreciate you meeting me here on such short notice. Well, you made it sound pretty urgent. Mm -hmm. It is. We have a lot of work to do in a very short time. And I want it all to be a surprise for the woman I love. Hey, Kendall. 
Kara, listen to me. You know, I want you to listen to me. I don't want you going anywhere near my brother ever again. You got it? All right, I didn't come here to cause trouble. You ripped apart his life, okay? He could have died because of you. So go. Just get out of here. You know what? Go play with that nosy, possessive minister while you're at it. Wait a minute. No nosy? But how, how is Ricky nosy? What difference does it make? I'd like to know. Okay, fine. You know the bachelor auction? Paid for a date with him, went out with him. I could tell something was off. What, 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 what do you mean off? He started asking questions, you know, about you and Griff. What's Griff doing for you? How is he helping you? Why is he helping you? Probably because he wanted to get rid of the competition. Well, great, it's done. Guess what? You two deserve each other. What I'm looking for needs to be somewhere isolated and beautiful. A place where my fiance and her two little boys would be happy. Fiance? That's right. I wasn't aware you were engaged. Yeah, I guess I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Hi. Hi. You want to draw straws for who had the worst day? I heard about Griffin. He resigned. Yeah, well, we had no choice. And he, he did what was best for the center, which, of course, made it even worse. It's all just too hard to believe. Tell me about it. I, I mean, first it's the drugs, and then a dead woman in his bed? How can you even explain that? I, I, and then I still find it so hard to believe that Griffin Castillo is that guy. I am having a hard time believing everything right about now. Well, what does Ricky say? Ricky? Why would you... Why would you ask me that? Well, I don't know. It just seems like he's sort of become part of the family ever since Zach... Since Zach's funeral, when you asked him to do the service? Right. How well did you know him? Uh, I didn't know him that well, actually. He just started volunteering at the center a little while before Zach. Oh, he just seemed like someone who was always there when you needed him. When I first met him, I, I thought he was trying too hard, like, um, uh, making too much of an effort to impress people, to impress me. And then I got mad at myself because Ricky, he's just a godsend. We are just so lucky he came into our lives when he did. So are you asking these questions about Ricky because you and he are... Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> no, 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 it's not like that. Okay. I, uh, I just, I want to know more about this man who's done so much for all of us. Yeah, and who even flew to St. Bart's for the wedding that never was. Yeah. You heard anything from Mom? Not a word. Me neither. Just glad she called Uncle Jack. Yeah. I feel so bad for him. Well, I mean, there's, there's nothing we can do about it. Mom has it all worked out so that the drama plays out exactly as she needs it to. Oh, well, I am late. Uh, Call me later? Yes, yes. Come on. Bye. the office they said you never came in so I got worried everything okay my meeting was canceled and then when I got to work I realized I left my briefcase here at home so so everything's okay yeah yeah but I, I really have to get back now so I'm sorry I don't mean to chase you away no you're not chasing me away you probably left your briefcase because you were exhausted and in no shape to work okay uh, Ricky, you're I not going to go. back to the office Kendall you're coming with me. And this time, I'm not taking no for an answer. You need to understand that I own a business. It doesn't just run itself. So I can't just take off whenever I want to. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's okay. No, no, the, the last thing that I would ever want to do is upset you. We'll talk later. We'll talk later. I really should get going, though. Okay. Call me if you need me. I will. Okay.